Hello YouTube, uh, Sean here from Grunge Garage. I wanted to share my uh, latest project with you. Um, I'm working on, you know, working towards building a uh, remote control lawnmower. So the first step in that is to, you know, come up with something to push the lawnmower around. You know, I initially started looking at, you know, found some, some things online where we guys have used uh, wheelchair motors to do that. So, you know, I started looking in that direction. Uh, you know, I, uh, while I was looking for wheelchair motors, though, I, I actually stumbled across a a whole wheelchair for, for a, you know, really cheap. So I ended up picking up a Invicare Storm uh, MDX-5. Uh, yeah, it's got brushless DC motors, which, you know, I would have would been very tough for me to control without having the, the chair's built-in controllers. Uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, heck of a deal. But as you can see, it's missing some of the, you know, <laughs> don't have any cushions or any, any pedal, or any foot pedals or any of that, that stuff, which was part of why I got such a good deal on it, but uh, anyway, so I, uh, you know, after some tinkering and messing around, I did manage to, to get it to work, so um, I do have a remote control electric wheelchair right now, um, so how did I do that? Well, I used a uh, Arduino microcontroller, uh, so basically it's it's receiving the uh, the RC uh, trans or outputs from the, from the controller, uh, doing a little bit of math on it, uh, Processing the signal and then uh, outputting uh, the you know, basically the joystick control. So it's replicating the joystick on the on the uh, controller. So this lets me use all of the built-in safeties and uh, you know regenerative braking and all that good stuff that this chair has has built into it into the controller. Um, you know while getting RC control. Um, The joystick uh, controls are actually fairly easy to replicate. They're uh, they're based around 2.5 volts. There's four four inputs that you need. So there's forward, uh, forward reverse, and then there's an inverse of that. So you know neutral is 2.5 volts, and then forward is you know full forward is 3.5 volts on one signal, and then 1.5 volts on the other signal, and then uh, left right works the same way. So it's all based around a 2.5 volt neutral, and then it's either plus one volt or minus one volt. Um, so I was able to use a you know the pulse width modulation on the Arduino Uno with uh, with a resistor and a capacitor to try and uh, smooth out the the voltage so that the chair would would accept it and not throw a fault because it is it can be somewhat picky over uh, over what it what it receives. Um, anyways, now for those of you who uh, want a little bit more detail on on how it works, I'll kind of give you I'll show you what my circuit looks like. Um, so I've got my Arduino Uno, so I've got using input 7 and 8 for the uh, RC receiver and using channels 1 and 2 for it. Um, and so, you know, channel 2 is forward reverse, channel 1 is right left from the RC receiver. So from there it goes into the Arduino Uno, so it's uh, it's using pin interrupt to, to basically capture that signal. So as that RC signal changes, um, it's capturing that. Uh, and then I'm using outputs 3, 9, 10, and 11 on the uh, Arduino Uno set up with pulse width modulation. So that goes through a 4.7 kilohertz resistor um, and then off to to the appropriate input on the joystick uh, connection to the chair. Uh, and then I've got a 1 microfarad uh, capacitor and then off the ground. So that's uh, that's kind of my circuit in a nutshell. So what does that actually look like? Well, so here's here's the controller. So here's the joystick input that I'm uh, replicating. There's my breadboard with my uh, capacitors and my resistors, and then I've got my Arduino Uno here with uh, you know with the appropriate pins. Right now it's all just breadboarded, so it's kind of a a little makeshift at the moment. And then yeah, for for power for the Arduino, I'm just using this uh, this little battery power pack at the moment. Um, I guess one thing I will note too is on the safety aspect, this is a big heavy machine and uh, you know, if you do try to do this at home, be very careful with it because it, uh, you know, it, it will do up to 7 miles an hour and probably weighs 250-300 pounds so it, it can go crashing through fences or you know, seriously damage property and people. Um, and so yeah, that's my uh, safety note. Um, 